Captain's Log Shuttle Trinity delivering a Federation Commissioner to Outpost Delta Tango. All systems operational. One system up ahead of us with a possible Class M planet, Glee C-832C heavier gravity than Earth, but with intolerance. We'll skim by it since it is on our way anyway. We will take some pictures. I am getting some really odd readings of giant structures on a plateau. We have plenty of time. Take us down to visual range. Make sure you compile a list of the dignitaries that will be there at Delta Tango. It is part of my function. You are invited of course, Genie. It sounds a little boring, all those bureaucrats. But the food is good at least. You'll have fun. I heard the Nebula girls might be there. We'll see. I feel something, like we are going through the atmosphere of a planet. Look at that. They are geoglyphs. I can't believe what I am seeing. There is a civilization down there too. Primitive people. Where are we and what are you exploring? It is Glee C-832C, Commissioner. We'll hurry it up. Take your time and look around. I would rather do this than meet with a bunch of stuffed shirts anyway. The Congo has been ordered to investigate apparent geoglyphs on a planet, Glee C-832C. I want full information on this planet and landing parties assembled. Computer, supply information on planet Glee C-832C, and include any known civilizations. Planet has never been explored. A recent visit by a Federation long-range shuttle revealed archaeological finds of importance. Geoglyphs of unknown origin are present. Also a primitive civilization was noted. Are there any analogous geoglyphs known to be similar to those on the planet? Affirmative. The Nazca lines on the planet Earth in the country of Peru are similar. The purpose is undetermined in both cases. Are the people on the planet humanoid? Affirmative. They are reported to be similar to humans, but lacking technology. Missy assemble the landing parties. I want armed security details on the surface to back up the science teams. Standard orbit helm. Identify the area in question for the geoglyphs. Captain, on long-range scans I am picking up a gigantic object. It appears to be natural and headed this way. What is it? Any data? It is a very large thin and long object. Almost needle-shaped. Set a course. After our teams are on the surface, we will investigate it. Greetings everyone. It does not appear that there is much vegetation here so concentrate on the lines. Composition appears similar to our emergency concrete that we use. It was not laid down by any primitive people. It is too large for us to see these well from down here. I will have the ship sent down a drone. We will have to wait. The ship has left orbit to investigate something. Our tree quarters should be able to get most of the information. Let's walk.
These are alien devices, mostly for recording. Can you identify who created them? No identification. Their system is different than ours. I will see what I can do with the tricorder. Anthropologist Margaret Lindy recording. A humanoid species appears to lack more than basic technology. They appear primitive and peaceful. I am reading forged metal bits in the soil. I can dig one up if you give me time. Go ahead. We will scout around but we'll stay close. He has been stung by one of the giant stinging creatures. Take him to camp. He is extremely ill. Betty and I will do what we can. I need him to survive. He came from the sky. It is in the prophecy. They will save us from the sky sword. We are approaching the object. Length three quarters of a mile, width average 300 feet. Object is composed primarily of obsidian. Where did it come from? Obsidian is a volcanic glass if I remember. Projecting back on its course, it appears to have drifted in from space. It may have been extruded from a moon with high volcanic activity. Jupiter's moon Io is an example of a highly volcanic moon. I will speak with you the executive officer and the engineer in the conference room. What is the object's estimated trajectory? Straight for the planet. It will impact and do considerable damage in three weeks. Can we use the tractor beam to nudge it out of its path? We have the power to do that, since it is made mostly of volcanic glass. The problem is that obsidian is brittle, and it may shatter into pieces if we try the tractor beam. I have a plan that might be a little reckless, but it could work. I have run it by science officer Nielsen. We can use our phasers to melt it down, and reshape it with our shields. You're kidding right? Glass blowing at the edge of the solar system? We can shape it into a molten blob, and then we will have to let it cool for a day. Science officer what do you think of this? It is risky but it is the best we have. You three work together on the calculations. Can you be ready in a few hours? We are ready now to save this planet. I recommend we get started right away.